गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन अप टू लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड द रोटेशनल डायनामिक्स विच इज फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ यूर सिलेबस स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ सर्कुलर मोशन टू लास्ट आर्टिकल बाय चेंजिंग सम सीक्वेंस ऑफ आर्टिकल्स द लास्ट आर्टिकल वॉज मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ डिस्क अबाउट द एक्सिस पासिंग थ्रू सेंटर पर पेंडिकुलर टू इट्स प्लेन एक्चुअली द चैप्टर इज कंप्लीटेड बट देर आर नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आस्क्रीन एग्जामिनेशन स्पेशली इन द सी टी टाइप ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन एम सी क्यू टाइप ऑफ एग्जामिनेशन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया और एप्लीकेशन ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ पैरल एंड परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस हेयर एप्लीकेशन ऑफ पैरल एंड परपेंडिकुलर एक्सिस थियर सो आई विल टेक वन एग्जाम्पल ओनली यू कैन सॉल्व फॉर अदर रेगुलर टाइप ऑफ बॉडीज विच आर गिवन इन यूर बुक सो फर्स्ट आई विल गिव यू इन्फॉर्मेशन हाउ टू ऑप्टेन मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया और डिफरेंट एक्सिस यूजिंग the parallel and perpendicular axis theorem here we know that moment of inertia of disc about the axis first we derive in last lecture that is axis passing through center and perpendicular to plane this was the figure we divide this disc into number of concentric rings and using integration method we obtain the relation for moment of inertia of this disc about the axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane it was ic equal to capital m capital r square by 2 here the quantities involved are ic is moment of inertia of the disc about the axis passing through center perpendicular to its plane you must remember how we can read the position of axis the first axis is the axis passing through center and perpendicular to its plane this is plane and this is perpendicular axis so this is position of axis so for such axis the moment of inertia of disc is given by capital m into r square by 2 where capital m is mass of the disc capital r is radius of the disc and ic is moment of inertia Also, we can find radius of direction. Therefore, K C is equal to it is square root of I C by capital M, and therefore K C equal to solving this capital R by root two. We also derive this relation. So this was the actually derived article. Moment of inertia of disc about the axis passing through center perpendicular to its plane. now actual applications of this theorem perpendicular and parallel axis theorem out of that first one how we can find moment of inertia about any axis as a tangent but how perpendicular to plane remember the words axis as any tangent to the disc but perpendicular to the plane so this is the axis passing through center and this is parallel axis passing through any point which is tangent to the plane of the disc tangent to the disc but perpendicular to its plane it is plane of the disc and this axis is perpendicular now see here carefully these two axis are found to be parallel to each other so we have to find moment of inertia about any axis through point o we have the principle about any axis parallel axis it is equal to sum of its moment of inertia about the axis passing through center of mass and product of mass of the body and distance between two parallel axes here distance between two parallel axes is capital r so we can apply fitch theorem parallel axis theorem so using parallel axis theorem we have I O equal to I C plus capital Y into small r square. What is I C? I C is this one, m r square by two. 
therefore i o equal to this is capital m capital r square by 2 plus capital m as it is what is small r distance between two parallel axes it is capital r so it is capital r square after solving this we can write i o equal to 2 into 1 2 so this is capital m r square plus 2 m r square divided by 2 and finally you can write this as i o is equal to 3 by 2 capital m capital r square so this is the moment of inertia of the disc about the axis as a tangent but perpendicular to its plane. So this is moment of inertia about any tangent to the disc and perpendicular to its plane. What about radius of direction? You can find radius of direction. Therefore k o equal to it is root 3 by 2 outside the square root it is capital R. So this is moment of inertia of the disc about any tangent perpendicular to its plane. Now similarly, now the apply the theorem to find moment of inertia of the same disc about any diameter. See here carefully, this is the same disc as before. The first one is axis passing through center perpendicular to its plane. Consider this as z axis. We have to consider two mutually perpendicular axes to find out the moment of inertia about diameter. This is one of the diameter, the axis is coinciding to one diameter. Second again, this is again a diameter, the axis of rotation is coinciding to that diameter. So suppose this is y axis, this is x axis. What you observe about the two axes x and y? Suddenly, these two axes are mutually perpendicular and in the plane of disc. What about z axis? This is perpendicular to plane. Again, one thing most important is all these three axes are concurrent axes. Means all these are meeting at a point. Consider this as C. So now these are the three axes and mutually perpendicular. Which theorem we can apply here? Perpendicular axis theorem here. I j equal to I x plus I y. I j means here I c. Moment of inertia about the axis passing through center perpendicular to plane. What about I x and I y? X is one of the diameter and y is also one of the diameter. So you can write this as I c equal to I d plus I d along any diameter. What is I c? It is equal to capital M capital R square divided by 2 and here we can write 2 into I d. Moment of inertia about any diameter. So finally we can write this I d as take this 2 to this side. So it is M capital R square by it is 4. So this is the moment of inertia of this about any diameter. Using which theorem we obtain this? That is perpendicular axis theorem. So can we find the radius of direction here? There. K about any diameter. Radius of direction about any diameter. Take this inside the root. So it is capital R by 2. So this is radius of direction of the disc about any diameter. And finally, if the axis is third application here, axis as any tangent in the plane. See here what is difference between this and this. Here it is also tangent, perpendicular to plane. Here it is also tangent, but it is in the plane of finger. So this is plane of disc. If we consider this axis passing through center, this as tangent perpendicular to plane, this as diameter and what about this? This is tangent in the plane of figure or plane of disc. So this is again a tangent in the plane of disc. So consider this point as O, this point as again C. C means along any diameter. See here carefully, the axis is along diameter 
and second axis passing through point O is parallel to diameter at what distance at capital R the two axes are now parallel to each other to find moment of inertia about O which theorem we can apply yes parallel axis theorem now apply the parallel axis theorem here here I C equal to sorry I O equal to I C plus capital M into small r square instead of I C you can write I D therefore I O equal to I D plus capital M what is small r capital R so it is capital R square but what is I D moment of inertia about any diameter so we can write here R O equal to I D is capital M capital R square by 4 plus M R square so finally saw this 4 into 1 1 uh, 4 4 1 uh, 4 plus 1 5 so you can write R O equal to 5 by 4 capital M capital R square can you tell me the uh, radius of direction so this is moment of inertia of the disc about any tangent but how the tangent is parallel to the diameter or the tangent is in the plane of disc here tangent is perpendicular to plane of disc that is in the plane of disc so what is the radius of dilation k about this point is equal to it is square root of 5 by 2 into capital r see here carefully the radius of variation so here it was r by root 2 here it is root 3 by 2 capital r here it is r by 2 and here it is root 5 by 2 this radius of variation shows the distribution of mass about the axis of rotation you if you observe carefully this r by root 2 root 2 is 0. Point, sorry 1.414 so this will be about 0 0.70 this is root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 is 1.5 1.5 is root next it is r by 2 it is 0.5 and finally it is root 5 by 2 you can calculate the values and decide in which case the distribution of mass is close to axis and in which case the distribution of mass is away from the axis so this is the application actually it is not given in your syllabus it is just part of self uh, study we can say or self creation that is self study and self we can uh, how we involve in the study it represents how you understand the applications or just article that is parallel axis and perpendicular axis theorem so you can apply the same procedure to find out the moment of inertia of ring if moment of inertia of such ring is mr square you can find about the respective axis similarly for rod similarly for sphere and so on so this is just a example and just uh, i you can say that it is just an example to solve moment of inertia about different axis for any regular type of body so you can solve for another body so this is completion of, of our chapter rotational dynamics as far as the theoretical part is concerned we will see or we will learn the problems in next chapter next lecture